Hello, good morning, everybody. What I'm going to talk about is how I personally use Adobe products in, in my creative workflow. And uh, I picked a film that I worked on in the pandemic, The Matrix Resurrections. When you look at this image, you can see that head right in the middle of uh, Neo's desk on, on that laptop. What I want to show you is we started from this, which was a um, photogrammetry-based asset. We took it into a 3D software. My usual workflow is I render as much as I can without thinking about it too much. Render various shaders, textures mapped onto a surface like this, low polygon renders, uh, photorealistic passes, non-photorealistic passes. At the end of the day, I end up with a lot of variations. A lot of, you know, it starts out just still frames. I'm not doing animations in the beginning. Um, and I used to do this in Photoshop years and years ago, but I think I just figured out throughout the years that it's much easier for me to do even the design work in After Effects, because at the end of the day, that's what we're going to deliver things from. So I took these renders uh, into After Effects, and uh, let me show you how it looks inside the software. This is just a very basic contour render. This is an animated version, so you know it, it spins around, does what it needs to do. At the end of the day, I really like to go back to the fundamentals, which is being able to layer things up and you know tweak them as I as much as I want. So here's this other part of the asset and, and you can see I added a bit of uh, you know color correction to it, which I can do almost live. Um, tweak the colors a bit and what it allows me to do is create lots of variations basically on the fly so this is what I end up with this is this was the finished product and and as I demonstrated this is made from five six different little things uh, put together we presented it to the director and uh, she liked it she said let's let's get it into the film one of the important elements, visual identifiers of uh, being inside the matrix was the tunnel sequence in the original one. This is how it looks when we are looking at timings and, and, and you know, speeds and whatnot. It's not too much, right? But when it comes to After Effects, it ends up something like this. And this is the base render. And what I'm doing here is, is I'm using a Z pass, which is the a render that shows me how distant something is compared to the camera. I use that as a little color, color correction mat, uh, bringing in some adjustment layers, just blur the image a little bit to make it look like the camera is moving, and uh, you know, just, just generally playing with things. So we presented this version. They said it's good, but let's do something else. So we created this version which again is using the same principles. It's even simpler than the previous one. It's just this glass render. What I do quite often is I use a render like this and I use a solid underneath. So I use the actual render as a mat instead of using it as a render. And then I just layer that on top with this interesting you know, color combination. And I can tweak that on the fly again. It happens quite often that they say, yeah, we like it, but it's too green. Make, uh, add a little bit more blue to it. Uh, it takes no time, and I can uh, do five versions in an afternoon. If you um, start to use After Effects as a creative tool, it can get really, really interesting. So we created something that's green, quite grungy as a base, and I started to import my renders. Skeleton, this is where it gets interesting. This is a render that has the implants in. And I think from the moment we add this, it starts to look something different. It starts to look a little bit more than a CG MRI scan. We uh, brought the same layer in, and instead of just screening it on top, we just overlay it. That's another thing that I like to play with, different uh, transfer mechanisms create very different images in no time, right? We created a Keanu Reeves asset or a Neo asset uh, that was meant to be in a high-end game. This needed to play out in 1999, if I'm not mistaken. So I just wanted to show you this because we use Substance Painter to create those assets. And this shows you the process. Again, if this is a 
high-end 3D asset. This would take a couple of days. Well, we had roughly an afternoon to do this. So we ended up with this. This is the 1999 version. We had to build all this environment. We had to render it. And uh, we took it into After Effects. And again, the guys demonstrated earlier how easy it is to tweak colors with Lumetri. This is some sort of a color correction that resembles the look of the original Matrix as much as the game scan. You might ask how much of that made it into the film. So if you watch closely, this is, this is from the trailer. Literally, I think less than a second, 24 frames. It's just right there on the terrace. Smaller than a, a stamp. We can zoom into it and see how much of the work <laughs> went into that kind of moment. But, you know, it's there. Thank you very much for having me. That was a great pleasure.